Hello, everyone. Welcome to this second episode of this little Lockman podcast thing that I've been doing with lovely guests. Today, I'm joined by Silver Godstow, Tominator, and Throne of Exile, um, and myself, uh, YOCCJ. Good luck pronouncing that. I don't know how to say it either. Don't ask, please. So, uh, Silver Godstow, could you tell me a little bit about yourself? Okay, well, um, my name is Cameron, but you can call me Cam for short, though. Um, Cameron. So, what got me into rock band is um, 2008. I played like around Christmas time, like Christmas time, Xmas time. So, um, yeah, I played it drums. Well, drums was my first instrument. Was, yeah. And I played a bass and guitar. So, I played medium at first before I went up to expert. So, then I went hard. So, long story short, I started playing expert like around 2012, I believe. So, and, and the whole music, metal uh, and rock. So that's what got me into more rock band too, as well. So, yep. Right on, man. Okay, how about you, Terminator? Um, my name, my gamer tag is Terminator 101XX. I usually go by term for sh short. I started playing Guitar Hero when Guitar Hero 3 came out around 2007-ish, 2008. Really enjoyed it. Started on Easy at first and kept building my way up all the way to Expert. Took a few hiatuses here and there. Um, when Rock Band 4 came out, I was one, I purchased it like right when it came out. Played it a little bit, but also Guitar Hero Live was out of time, and then I kind of pushed it to the side. Then Guitar Hero Live died, and I decided to get back on Rock Band. I've been playing it since, and Rock Band is really my first game where I've gotten a lot of, like, FCs. Right on. Okay. How about you, uh, Throne of Exile? Uh, my uh, name is uh, Chris. Y'all can call me whatever you want to, because I honestly don't care at this point. I started playing Guitar Hero 1 in 2000. Five, six, something. I was awful at it. I used a controller most of the time and not a guitar because that's what the cool kids did back in the day. Oh, wow. And I was awful. And then a buddy of mine got the rock band set for Christmas and I decided to backpack right on that. I started playing the drums on hard, which is easy when you play the drums, but a terrible idea if you don't. Just throwing that out there. Uh, uh, I was a Guitar Hero person for the most part until a buddy of mine told me that the Rock Band Network had several double bass DLC as opposed to uh, all of the double bass songs that Guitar Hero had. So basically, Rock Band 3, around 2011, I became a sole, solely a Rock Band player, basically. Garbage one at that point, I might add. Yeah, Rock Band 3 was kind of mean. As it turns out, uh, in terms of its timing window and engine and all those kind Absolutely. of other things. We know that now, benefit of hindsight of Lockman 4, that Lockman 3 was quite difficult. Um, so I'm YOCCJ, uh, or Kano, which is significantly more pronounceable unless you have a speech impediment like me, and it's kind of difficult. But I started back in Guitar Hero 3 as well, uh, just like Tom did, and... Yeah, I started as mainly a guitar player, and I didn't really pivot to playing drums until Pro came out in Rock Band 3, and I committed really hard to that because I thought this is uh, just kind of a lot more fun, in my opinion. Obviously, everyone's entitled to their own, and everyone has their own tastes, but I tended to just enjoy that. I'm also kind of a vocal harmony guy on Rock Band 4 and Rock Band 3. Lots of great times with those things, but uh, yeah, it's kind of my experience with Rock Band, and everything revolving around Rock Band and Guitar Hero. So I'll start by asking what what songs, bands, subgenres, what kind of things do you think did you wish would have gotten more representation in Rock Band while it was getting weekly DLC? Metal is right. Uh, any of you guys just chime on in. Oh well um, well Chris can go first. I think there should be uh, more metal as a whole. With Rock Band 4, at least near the end, the last couple of years, all we kept getting was popular songs from TikTok and all that fun stuff. And I don't know about you youngsters, 
but I am not partial to TikTok and its music. So I wish we could have got more metal. I also would have been severely happier if we could have had a lot more classic rock. Not that there's not a lot, but there could have been much more. Yeah, imagine getting like Eagles or something like that. <laughs> Licensing wasn't a billion dollars for them. It's not. It's not. They're just sissies. That's what it is. Trust oh, okay. me, I'm a doctor. <laughs> a band I wish would have been represented more was Lamb of God. Oh. Considering we only got two songs from them, <laughs> and they're kind of two of their weaker ones. It's true. He's not wrong. Yeah, they're I, good. I agree with that. I remember playing, was it Ghost Walking on GHY? Was that the one in that game? Yeah, that one was really fun. Yeah, that would be great to have on uh, Rockman for sure. What about you, Cam? What do you think? The band that I really wish for, well, I was going to say Infant Nyler, but I know their songs is kind of too fast and too undoable. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it will probably like Sword the Stillborn or the Palchior. Well, you well, no, I'm I'm sure none of you don't even listen to them, but um, where Die Artist Murder was on, man, like Rag of Darkness or Infinite Death. To a chain, to a chainsaw, because I know it's a custom song too as well. Well, Infinite Death is, but I don't know about Horror to a Chainsaw. It is, um, awesome. yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it is though, but it's also an EP as well. They also the have album. Infinite Annihilator customs. Soil the Stillborn would not be possible by a human on drums. Just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> if nobody knows what it sounds like, yeah, I implore you yeah, to listen. It's like to the heavily intro. programmed and stuff. Just listen to the drum intro. It's not possible by a human being. And that's coming yeah. from a real life metal drummer. <laughs> I wonder if they would just go for like an undercharting, like how they did in Visions, like cutting out half the snails. If you. There, dude, uh, it's nothing. It's it's like 7,000 times worse than Visions. Oh, oh I know, but it's, I just mean, is, I wonder yeah, if they it just. It is. Like, if I, um, like, if they undercharted <laughs> the intro, it would look like the snare roll from the Attitude song. That's undercharted. Oh, Lord. Yeah, it's, yeah it, that'd be a bit tough. The AI is real on that. And the thing, though, I wanted to wish they had more All Shout Paris songs like Royalty and Network from, from Rock Band 3. I wish they would have had that as well, like a re one. So that would be fun. I mean, we got there in the morning, but I wish that we would have had like All Shell Parish songs because that would be interesting. Yeah, we had someone locked with Network, I think, some All Shell Parish. They had the whole album that he was saying uh, the other songs should have been off of. They were both charted on it, but they never released two of them. Other than that, they had the whole album. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Some of those songs would be pretty wild. But yeah, like, thing. <laughs> but yeah, Van... like I was saying about the All Shot Paris, but yeah, that's all. Okay. Van Halen should have had several more songs than they had, uh... and they had almost, I don't think they had anything before Rock Band 4 came out. And also, I'm a sucker for Breaking Benjamin, so I wish we would have had a lot more not singles by them. Not that their singles aren't good, but most of their good songs aren't singles unpopular opinion but, you know what of them i mean i've i haven't really explored their discography much but i've liked everything on rockman that they've added i think they've all kind of hit so yeah i've I would, listened i can't right. believe jump wasn't in the game like especially like during rock band 3 era because that's like a huge key song absolutely even though I despise it, as they are my favorite band of all time, and that was my favorite song at one point. Now I can't even listen to it. But <laughs> the fact that it's not a DLC song is quite ridiculous. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah, so I wish ridiculous. they would have asked some more of those. Um, like "Blow Me Away." That's another one. That's another good one. That would have been a fun one, though. Honestly, goat song. That's by yes, Sir. Richard. I was. I was kind of surprised in like the heyday of Rock Band, that era when they had a lot of money for DLC, I'm assuming. I'm kind of surprised we didn't see more of the Black Blade album by MCR because of just how popular that album was amongst like critics and consumers alike. It was always kind of surprising because it feels like it would have been a good fit for the game. 
Just you would think so. Like, have we track on that album just about would be interesting and fun to play on something at least. I don't know when the album came out as DLC or when the album came out. I don't know how many songs from it are DLC now, but surely it's there's there's like four, four or five of them now. I don't know when they came out as DLC though. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I know that uh, I think Famous Last Worlds was added like way after the fact. But um, that's sad because it's the best song on the album. Just saying. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty good. It, but yeah, I don't know. I it's just a lot of weird emo garbage in general that like added just because I like weird emo garbage. But yeah, that's because weird emo garbage is goaded. Yeah, it's I've wounds to love it through vocal harmonies and uh, drumming. That pretty much everything yes. in that style of music is pretty fun. And if it isn't, Absolutely. and if it isn't, maybe you could speed it up. And if you speed it up, it might get fun. If you guys have noticed, there's some players in the community now that have been speeding up charts, like Maze Geek and Voldman, EXE, and a lot of Clone Hero players. Are there any songs that you guys would like to see, or would like to attempt to FC at higher speeds? As a I'll say the violation. Oh. Oh, good God, ew. <laughs> That's bad enough. I want enough Christian to go for the violation. Because he played the violation. Well, actually, I don't know. I think he has before. Well, I don't know if I remembered correctly. Or maybe he played the Blinded by Fear cover version of it. And then he said he was playing it, but then he was like, you know what? I'm tired, man. <laughs> like, you know what? Just forget this. <laughs> yeah. That song is whack. <laughs> yeah, the chart is just wild. As a closet clone hero player, I have tried speed ups quite a few times. To not success because I'm stupid. I tried to do uh the Xeno Christ by the Faceless and Ooh. it tastes like Kevin Bacon by I wrestled a bear once at hundred and twenty five percent speed. And uh I only missed two on Tastes Like Kevin Bacon on the drums. Double bass also. Oh my. That's that is pretty uh, dumb. You know, Christ, we're not going to talk about that because it's, yeah. Speed ups are entertaining, but they are uh, difficult, to say the least, especially yeah. if you're doing it metal. Yeah, I, uh, I haven't tinkled with it too much, but on Yarg, I sped up Science Genius Goals drum chart by 25%, and that Ew. made that chart quite, quite difficult for me at my cowboy that I'm at right now. Because this is a weird chart. I don't know if any, all you guys have seen it, but it's pretty yes, obnoxious. Disgusting. Yeah. They need to give us speed up on Rock Band 4 so I can try spinning wheel on 150%. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, spinning wheel would be nonsense. Don't forget Young Man Blues. We're not Another talking crazy no, chart. We're not talking about who live stars here. We don't do that. Uh, Yeah, that chart is crazy too, as well. I don't want to talk about it. What about you, Tom? Are you FCing like can't be tamed 150% anytime soon? Or mm, speed up? Like some people don't realize how hard like sped up songs actually are. Even if it's like 20%, it can make a song like 10 times harder. Yeah, honestly. That was at least I made instead of going up five or 10 when I was trying those two, I just went straight for 125. Don't do that to anybody that listens to this. Try five or ten percent first, cause it's hard. Yeah, it really is. Is there anything you'd be interested in doing, like an FC that you were proud of once in the past, and it's like, well, maybe I could do it even faster now. Now that I'm a little better at the game. Mm. I would be interested in to do a like a like a fun fast chart would be like Twilight of the Thunder God on base. That I would try to attempt on it, cause it looks fun. You were a freaking masochist. <laughs> God, you don't you don't like your guitars is what I'm wanting. That's four strum bars. How on earth? Yeah, but I would say I'm using the, the guitar hero guitar. Yeah. But go ahead. <clears throat> yeah, anything anything in mind for you, Tom? No, not really. It's too hard. <laughs> I might work on back through time, I guess. Back through time would be fat, fun, a little faster that'd on be, drums. That'd, that'd be goaded. Yeah. Got that at 100, and it doesn't seem... It's not that awful. There's only one spot I actually miss. But yeah. The problem, I, the problem I have with speeding stuff up is that when I'm doing it on drums, 
on Clone Hero. I'm always doing double base charts. So not only am I making the chart already harder, <laughs> you're adding all the kicks in, which makes it way more harder than it needs to be. Yeah, I could not do... I can't do back to time 2x. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the band Belmont, but I Belmont? have several... Yes. It's pop, they're a pop punk band, but they're also like metalcore-ish at the same time. They're actually very good, but uh, I have a bunch of songs of theirs on Clone Hero, and I've done a Are bunch they're like of them similar to like heavy. Attack Attack or Devil's Prada? No, or... they're not. Okay. They're not. They're not that heavy. I mean, they're heavy, but they're more pop. They're pop. They're basically pop punk with like breakdowns and stuff. Oh, I probably never even heard of them. No, not a lot of people haven't. I recommend them though. But that's about the only thing I've ever sped up that has double bass that I've successfully done. Like Term said, speed ups are way more difficult than people give them credit for. Yeah, I mean. Because one of the hardest things about the game we all love is, like, the closer notes get together, the more chopped the timing window gets. So, like, quicker things get harder exponentially instead of, like, linearly. Like, super fast stuff is just so unbelievably difficult, like, that people can't really understand. Unless they, like, know, you know? It's like, there's a reason, like... Mm-hmm. Chiasm and stuff like that on guitar it took that long to FC for the first time. Yeah, it's it's really yeah, I mean, it's ridiculous in general. But when you think about the note window being a dynamic timing window, uh, yeah. <laughs> so when you speed that up even more, everything gets exponentially harder. I don't know. I wish I could get that on bass though. Even bass is harder too though. But the hardest thing is like is guitar. But then, well, actually, I don't know because it's like all the above though. Cause drums is insane and guitar is insane because bass is it's hard but it's well actually I mean it is but it's not bad as guitar. Yeah, I just it's just so silly. I mean it's just dumb on everything like straight up. It's ridiculous. It's been one man band F seed by ACO. That, that is actually a song <laughs> I'm better at with a two X chart than I am with the original. Sadly, <laughs> double bass makes that song easier. It's dumb. I mean, it's not easy. I've never, I'll never FC it. I'm like, I'm pretty respect, respectable on Rock Band 4, but I've played some of those old Rock Band Network songs on Yarg recently, and I'm like, oh, I am still way off from being able to do some of this nonsense. Like, it's crazy. I wish we had some of that stuff on Rock Band 4's engine, just so I could be humbled more often. <laughs> that that, that but, would be nice. Yeah. Speaking I can of, imagine that the... go on, sorry. Oh, we'll go ahead. My fault. No, you're My good. Fault. I was non sequiturring to something else. What were you gonna say? Oh, I was saying, um, imagine if those songs was on Rock Band Four. <laughs> yeah, I know. I would heavily prefer that. It would be nice if we got. And that would, know. especially, on, especially if it was on a. Well, I was gonna say if it was a spotlight, but it's not a vocalist, so never mind on that. <laughs> Yeah. Go ahead now. I don't know. Yeah. Um. So DLC and just thinking about sort of how Lock Band is now done with that DLC. I've been thinking about hearing complaints. I have my own complaints as well about the future that everyone calls Lock Band Five being Fortnite Festival. It's something that I play extremely casually. Um. But they seem to be charging at about five dollars per song, US dollar, USD, with the advantage of if anyone in the lobby owns a song, everyone in the lobby can play the song, which is different from Lock Band model of you can only play a song if everyone owns it at two dollars each, which like maybe sounds appealing to some people, but man, who wants to drop five dollars for all their friends to play a song? It's like Who's going to be the one that has to pay for the song to go do the FBFCs? Um, you know, what What do you guys think about that uh, pricing model of $5 for everyone to have a song as opposed to $2 per? Uh, for the Fortnite Festival, I, I, well, I never played it, honestly, because I'm not really a fan of it. But I know some people enjoyed it, so I'm not going to bash or anything. But it's just... Putting up is like five dollars a song because normally it'd be like 
two dollars like it'll be like one ninety nine or two ninety nine because it don't be that much on rock band normally but if it's like a festival for five dollars that's kind of more pricey but but to me personally i never played it so i'm not really a fan of doing the fortnite festival but if you play it then that's fine i mean that's so i'm happy for you basically so i don't want to bash or anything so enjoy it then have fun right. the way i kind of want to look at it is you can pay twenty dollars and get one skin. You get one skin in Fortnite for twenty dollars that has basically no effect. Or you can get four songs in Fortnite for that same amount of money. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Think about it. Yeah. I think it's crooks. That's my only take on this conversation. That it, that's that's a pretty fair take. I think that... I have no positive words for them at this point yeah i think uh it's interesting what they did for sure i think that part of that i wonder if part of it isn't just the hype or the hike in place is not just because of um like the added benefit of oh you can use it in the battle royale or uh oh you can also um you know have all your friends play it i think part of it too is just the annoying like inflation i don't know what two dollars got you back in 2007 when lockman one started doing dlc at that price point but i i admire that lockman has been able to hold hold that two dollar price point steady since you know all the way back in 2007 with the exception of inagata de vita being a three dollar song um so it's really cool Lockman has been able to do that, but I always wonder if Lockman was created today, would their DLC have been two dollars or would it be three or four or five? I always wonder about I that. I it would definitely probably be more expensive than two. The big yeah. problem I have about Rock Band 4's being one ninety nine, which is not a bad price, mind you at all, but when I was still playing Rock Band three, I played four when it came out for a few months. And apparently people were cheating scores, and they kept wiping leaderboards, and I got tired of it. So I went back to Rock Band 3, and all the DLC on Rock Band 3 was a dollar. Except for the stuff that uh, was going to 4. They raised back up to $2, even though everything was a dollar. So I really enjoyed that. I thought it was kind of crappy that they were making you pay the same price for Rock Band 3 that they were for Rock Band 4 just because they brought a new game out. But at the same time, like you said, if it came out today, it definitely wouldn't be nice. One or two bucks. It would probably be closer to Fortnite Festival's garbage money system. Yeah, I I always wonder if I'd be willing to pay $5 a song if I didn't know the life of paying $2 for the entire library to be complete, which I have now, with the exception of delisted songs. I just would be nauseated if I had to spend two and a half times the price to get all yeah. 2,000 or 3,093 songs that I have in my library. That would be expensive, as if it wasn't already. Um, yeah. I think a good thing we can say about Fortnite Festival, if we have to, is that it's cool that they decided to make new guitars that work on Rock Band 4. That's really nice. I like that we have new manufactured guitars. Um, I personally haven't had the opportunity to play with them yet, but uh, has anyone else here had the opportunity to play the Whiffmaster? Unfortunately, I... no, because um... they're always sold out. Aw. Yeah, that really sucks, though. Well, for Riffmaster, well, I'm just going to stick to playing the guitar. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Riffmaster looks perfectly good, though. Like, it looks fun to play with, but I'm just going to stick it with is. my own Guitar Hero guitar, so... Yeah, but I know Terminator's been wanting to get the Rift Master, but it just keeps selling out so fast. So, by the way, what do you mean by pre sale, by the way? If you don't mind me asking. Pre sale. Um, well, I think they did pre orders for it. I pre ordered one from Amazon the day, uh, the day you could, the first day. And as of recording this, it's the 25th of May. And I still haven't received it. That was over two months ago. They haven't even shipped it. Mm. So <laughs> that's pretty yeah, annoying. 
I know some people have gotten it earlier than me. I was on vacation at the time uh, in which people first started getting them. I was excited to come home and hoping I didn't get porch piloted or anything like that. No one stole it off my deck. And I go inside, open Amazon. It's like, hey, can you confirm that you still want this? There's going to be a delay. And I was like, oh, wow, you didn't even email me this question. That's amazing. Thank you. I love that. <laughs> And then so I said yes a little too late. Now I just paid my $140 or whatever it was two months ago and still haven't seen anything, which is kind of frustrating, but it is what it is. What about you, Chris? So now, Any headaches? Now I get, I get to be the terrible person that answers this question after listening to that. I ordered mine whoa, a month and a half ago, I think, on the second wave of them coming through Best Buy, even though it sold out in an hour. And I somehow received mine in like three days. So nice. to answer the question of playing on it, it I've never played a brand new guitar of any type other than maybe like the first one I ever bought for Guitar Hero when that was in like 2008. Uh, it's very nice. It's very, it's very nice. It's much more responsive than my Rock Band one. It doesn't over hit frets or anything. It looks fantastic. The only complaint I have is... I don't know how many people who play guitar that are actually good use a button to activate their overdrive versus tilting it. But the button to activate it on this guitar is way far down and it is a pain to reach it. Other than that, it is a phenomenal guitar to use. I heart heavily enjoy it. I'm sorry that you guys keep getting shafted on them though. Cause that's just not good. Uh, that's I'll get it eventually. If there's anything us Rockman players are, it's patient. It took three years for Rockman 4 to be a playable game. Or, sorry, it took three years for Rivals to come out. It took nine years for it to be a playable game. Uh, but hey, there are still Cheetos on our leaderboards. None of us want to name names. We probably shouldn't, but... I will. Even now, I would, I would prefer if you didn't publicly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll gladly do that at the first opportunity. I, I, will, I will say we won't publicly say it, but you can look at certain brutal leaderboards on pro drums or uh, vocal harmony leaderboards and see score gaps on disc songs or the hardest DLC in uh, on drums cases. And then you can see just what some people have found themselves capable of doing. Um, Looking at you, Throne of Exile. Yeah, stop, stop cheating, Chris. God, no. Um, <laughs> and thank you. on pro, though. Go on, sorry. Everybody want me to get on pro. <laughs> yeah, like I get a lot of people. Wish that doesn't bother me, though. Honestly, but it's just that it's been like so much on the e kit. That's why I'm just like. Even if I did get the, get the symbols, don't get me wrong. I mean, pros are better than regular. It's like more realistic than the regular drum. So I'm more used to the regular drum because I've been playing it for a long time. So, yeah, but I had to pay like an E kit on the brain. Then it's like a rolling set that I got. X100 and the other three is the um the PD9s, I think. So they're like black and there's like they're kind of like more bigger than the ions because I used ions first and then I moved to Rollins now. So then I get the kick tower and the kick pedal was like extra. I think it was, they were like 70 bucks. And then I ordered one of them off of eBay, the kick tower. So they're like 60. So add that around. It, like, all together, I probably spent like 400 bucks on it. Honestly. Yeah. Don't get me wrong though. Symbols are more fun. But it's just, if I get it, I probably just not going to play it that much. Because that's all I was just curious about that. Because if I, Buy it and then I'll play it for a little bit, but I just may not touch it that much because it's gonna be collecting dust. Because I'm used to more playing regular though, to be honest. So yeah, I just want to clear, just want to clear that because I know a lot of people have been asking me. I, I'm not annoyed about it, but it's just I rather just stick to regular, in my opinion. Well, hey, you know, I mean, yeah. it's a game. That's you all. Should, you should have fun playing the game. I I will say, I uh, when you FC'd on my mind, I assumed you played a stock kit because you played standard. And so me and Chris, I think, oh, nah, were nah. texting each other. I played like, it I on like, the how, do you even, how do you even do that on a stock? It's like, <laughs> he doesn't have a stock. And I'm like, oh, okay. I mean, I have a pretty nice e kit, a decently nice e kit. And I just like, I can't even come close. But um, I was, 
I was delightfully surprised by Lepsy that song because that's pretty nuts. So that's yeah, that song is so okay. mean. It's like that's sh- they should have lamed that to be honest with you. But it's like it's so weird because it's when it it's like before the chorus starts, it's like you gotta hit it fast. But it's like a method that you gotta do in order to keep it like for the combo. Because if you let's say you play drums and you just hit it all heavy, you gotta hit it like light. If you hit it heavy, your arms gonna get tired out. So basically, you have to like find like a, it's like a method that you gotta do though. If you hit it light, you'll hit all the fast, arm rolls. So, yeah, it was it was epic. It was challenging though. I was shaking. I was like, yes, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. it's nuts. That's yeah, that song places. is is terrible. But overall, the song is uh good though. But it's just to play on drums, nah, no fun. But, yeah, I'd kind of like to go like uh in the order we'll introduced uh talk about what instruments we use so you use a woolen kit what what type of guitar do you play like what model of uh guitar hero guitar oh i played the the red and white one guitar hero 5 one that's like the best guitar hero guitar hands down i do use the warriors of rock i had one but i think i gave it to goodwill because i don't even play it that much anymore I have, I think so. In my other one, I think I got a, a Aerosmith. I use on a 360, but yeah, I, I use the Legacy adapter for the Band Four. So I use the JH5, the red and white, and it's the best one. I play bass most of the time. I play guitar as well, but bass is like my main instrument. Okay, right on, right on. What about you, uh, Tome? What type of guitar do you use? Uh, I've been using the, um, I just got a new guitar, because I have, I've been out of a guitar for months. I got the, um, the one that folds, forget what it's called, actually. It's the Riffmaster big dog. Is no. it the, is it the Jag? Is it blue? The Jaguar, yeah. It was the Jaguar the I got. One. And Chris mentioned earlier about, like, when you're activating overdrive, about the button, the, the, oh, yeah. the Jag has the same problem. Yeah, the button is so far where away. the button's so far away, so you can press the D pad, but like if you press like down or up on the D pad, it'll strum, so you'll lose your combo. It's kind of frustrating to use. Yeah, for sure. Do you drum or anything? Uh, any other? I do have an E kit. I have drums. Um have to fix it up though because like there's a screw that's missing so the kit falls apart sometimes oh jeez. have a i'm pretty sure i have a very unorthodox drumming style oh <laughs> okay i'd want to see more about that sometime i remember uh i didn't even know you really played drums until i started looking at some leaderboards and seeing your name because i don't think a bunch of us got together in august i don't think you played the stock kit at the house we were i did here. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. I must have been elsewhere at the time. At the, at that. Right on, okay. How about you, Chris? What kind of instruments are you playing? Well, currently, for guitar, I use the Riff Master. Before that, I was using my borrowed Rock Band 4 Strat, which, it's, it's alright. It has a few button issues and the strum bars go on to hell. I did get gifted a Guitar Hero Aerosmith guitar, which is a goat guitar, but unfortunately it has a plethora of its own issues, so I had to stop using it other than like once every six months when it wants to work for three hours without doing anything dumb. Drum wise, I I don't know exactly how to explain what it is because it's so many different things. I use, as of recently, because my kit was having issues with a lot of overheads, so I changed my module to a Roland TD-17. I think the kit that I have is a Roland TD-11, but the pads are like severely upgraded, like TD-20 pads. And my kick pad is actually... (laughs) A Yamaha snare pad duct taped onto a Simmons kick tower. I wish it was kick. I mean, I I use two kick kick towers, but that's what my main one is. No, no, no joke. That's and it works fantastically. It sounds like you're kicking a freaking concrete wall. 
with a bullet, <laughs> but it works. Yeah, hey, there you go. Yeah, so I'm a, I'm a mix of a little bit of all of you guys. So I use the Guitar Hero 5 guitar that Cam uses as my favorite guitar of choice. Oh, wow. In the future, I'll be using a Lift Master, probably in the year 2027 when it ships to me. Um, <laughs> I And I play a bit of a Flankenstein E-Kit, an Elias drum blend, a couple Roland heads, a couple Elias heads, Roland cymbals, Roland kick tower, these lovely pedals Chris sold me for very cheap. Uh, DW um, 5000s or something. I don't know. I don't look at my feet very often. You guys could if you watch my YouTube videos. Um, shout out to myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. That's kind of the setup I got. Like Chris said, I one time kind of reminded me. Uh, I was having frustrations with Blinded by Feel. So I tried to FC it by setting a kick towel to a snail drum and kicking all the snails with my left foot, kicking on the kicks with my right foot, and just doing a wool on whatever symbol was the symbol. And so, yeah, sort of like how Chris has a snail drum as his kick, I once had a snail drum for a kick. So that's kind of goofy, but that kind of reminded me of that. Um, so yeah, I, I think with Master's on pretty short supply, in the Lockman community and Fortnite Festival community as a whole, obviously, because people just can't seem to get them when they want them. If there was a good supply in the well, do you guys personally think we'd see a, a sizable bump to the Lockman community because of it? I know personally some friends who have returned because they have with Masters. Do you think that would help the game out substantially or just a minuscule well, amount? I've come across, I've had to play a lot online lately with just random people that had lobbies because none of nobody's wanted to play recently. Uh, I've come across three, I don't know if they're returning players or if they were new. They had decent DLC counts, but there's at least three or four people I got messages from saying they were just trying to test out the kinks in their Rift Master. So it's, if not bringing new people, it's at least brought quite a few old players back. Yeah. I think that's what that's like a really cool thing about it. I can say from my experience of playing quite a bit of festival, just because I don't know, I like hating my poor keyboard and mashing those buttons really hard. <laughs> that, uh, everyone I'm playing with online seems pretty horrendously bad at it, so I assume they're new to rhythm games. I don't think they have with masters necessarily, but I'm hoping some of those some of those uh younger generation of gamers that tend to be on Fortnite. I hope they find their way over to Lock Band to franchise older than them. Uh, I would love that if they can convince their parents to give them $20 for the game. I think that'd be great. Uh, but yeah, and we even have all the TikTok DLC, so that'd be pretty sweet. I'd love to have more of them kicking around, giving our community some more life. I could, I could be okay with that. Yeah. I suppose. I suppose. That was Darn ins- kids these days. <laughs> Freaking kids. So, uh, I was seeing on various social media platforms that I use, specifically Reddit, that Fortnite Festival is getting fueled by Metallica, and some people in the comments mentioned that there was this pack spoiled in an Xbox magazine that's pretty credible for showing Rockman DLC at the time. The, in Rockman 2, we were supposed to get Fueled by Metallica, a cover of Supernaut by Black Sabbath, and Wrath Child by Iron Maiden, also a cover. Man, that would have been nice, huh? What do you guys, what I, do you guys I didn't know that. There? Like, why did we not get those, do you think? Like, what happened? I, I'm on it. I don't know, because I wasn't aware. I mean, I didn't know they was going to release another song by Metallica, though, to be honest. Yeah, I. I actually maybe didn't know like that. Diver's Eyes would be good. I don't know if I said that name right though. Is it is it Diver's Eye? Diver Eye? I don't, is that right? Diver's Eye. Diver's. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know if I said it right, but yeah, that song could be a good one though as well. See, I didn't know about that secret spoiled pack until I actually read the question like an hour ago. Uh, I have been telling mm-hmm. people for a long time, especially recently, 
that Wrathchild is my favorite Iron Maiden song because it has one of the greatest bass lines I've ever heard in my life. And I would kill to have it on Rock Band. So I am kind of pissed off that it was supposed to be on there and then we never got it. Even if it is a cover. Yeah, I Iron Maiden is good. Because, I mean, we would know Strangel. I, I'm i pretty sure all the Sabbath songs are covers, the three DLC. I don't remember if Paranoid I was a cover or not. Paranoid was a cover. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, w- Black Sabbath was no stranger to having As Made Famous Bias. There's a couple of Iron Maidens so As Made Famous Bias. It's like, and man, sorry. what happened now? Like, we had so we have so much Iron Man, 20 something tracks, and we never got yeah. Bath Child. Like, come on. And what, what makes me mad about that is it was on a Guitar Hero game as well. It was on Rocks the 80s, which makes me even more mad that it was on a rhythm game. We still didn't get it. Oh, it's fine. Right. It's I fine. thought it was on Rocks <laughs> the 80s. Mm-hmm. That's the first time I ever heard that goaded bass line, and I'll never forget it. It's absolutely the greatest bass line I've ever heard by Iron Maiden. And as you all absolutely have all of their songs on Rock Band, you can attest that there's a lot of goaded bass lines. Wrathchild is the greatest bass line I've ever heard Steve Harris play. I mean, by a lot. Yeah, Wrathchild. I'll find to check that out. Too. Just a great song. I've not heard it, Super Not personally by Black Sabbath. I'm sure it's not a big Sabbath. I'm sure it's yeah. I'm not really big in the Sabbath pipeline. I've liked the stuff I've heard, but I've never felt the need to explore them more than that. Felt. Um, I know that. I'll I'll throw some shots out here. I know that a lot of people these days are wanting to shoehorn them way hard into doom metal as a subgenre. Just like, yeah, they're a doom metal band. It's like, okay, nah, man. Nah. Come on. <laughs> no. Nah, no. Nah, relax. Nah. Just because they don't play metal? super fast doesn't mean they're doom. Like, they might have been like the biggest precursor to it, but no, just. Yeah, it's no. like, we don't have to. Several fast paced songs. That's just dumb. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's just interesting. Interesting take. Absolutely. Metal subgenre community. You guys are. This, this always... is my take on Sabbath, as best as I can put it. If I wanted to listen to great songs by Black Sabbath, I listen to Ozzy Osbourne or Dio's solo stuff. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's totally fair. So, non sequituring again pretty hard. Talking about DLC. So, Lockman 3 broke up with us with American Pie back in the day. This was going to be the last song we ever got. Later, eventually, we got a couple more songs like Lies of the Phoenix and All You Mind and things like that came out maybe a year or so after, but that was more just to hype the fact that Lockman decided to wake up and try to compete with Guitar Hero Live. Spoil, neither one of them did uh, the best on release, unfortunately. I think they both could have used a little more time cooking in the oven before they came out. But that's okay, you gotta wash wash things out. Now I feel that the Locked Man 4 is sending off with Wherever You Would Go, Our Love Will Still Be There, uh, Goodbye Yelbwick Road, like, Send Me On My Way, Thank You. Now it just feels like sad, like getting broken up with a second time and they write you the paragraph long text message, you know, that's just like, why, why do we have to go here again? Like, you know, it's like, it feels like they're overdoing it the second time. Because they sold out and they hate us. <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> they sold out. They let Epic buy them. They didn't have to say yet. They sold out. Yeah, I d- I, yeah, it's all out for real. Which is understandable. I mean, it's like the biggest gaming quote unquote company currently. So, I mean, I get why they did it, but I think Rock Band's fan base is bigger than Fortnite festivals. I could be wrong. I'm I'm just I'm just I'm just saying. I I think the longevity of the Rock Band community proves that we'll be here a long time and I I don't think the Fortnite community will accept festival <laughs> in the long term just because yeah nowadays people are more obsessed with like things that are more instant gratification and rhythm games aren't great for that it takes a very long time to get good at rhythm games compared to yeah a lot of other they, genres of games. they care more <laughs> they care more about those 20 dollar skins than those five dollar <laughs> songs see term yeah. gets it <laughs> he gets it 
And at the end of the day, they're not spending their own money, so they don't really know the value of it, right? So they don't know that that $20 is getting what $20 is. They don't know that that's like half a Big Mac now, you know? That's that's almost a meal. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I wonder if this is really the end of Lockman 4 DLC. I, they, they said that, but come on, like... They're gonna. They're they should gonna at least like, add like a few more. Yeah, they're gonna. They're gonna wake up and be like, "Hey, we could just like re-release these Lockman Network charts. We could just like do that. A lot of these artists would probably be fine with it. It would just take like a tweet to the K12 guy, and he would probably say yes. I imagine. I, I don't know if that's true. I don't know that gentleman, but I'm sure he wouldn't mind having those songs in Lockman Four. I, I don't know what the process is like for it, but. Like, come on! I'm sure a lot of these Lockman Network artists wouldn't mind having no songs. Yeah, and um, another thing, I, there is a rumor because I play Rivals. I don't know, cause not because I know it's like a lot of people don't really play Rivals anymore. But there is a rumor. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but it's like the end of season forty. Well, that'll be the last one. So, is that true? Like, you think the Rivals should end over there, or is it going to end? Because it's because a lot of people are saying like season forty is their last one. Which I don't know if it's true or not. I mean. Yeah. I I don't know with game development in general what it's like, but I, I don't know when the last time a season has come out and not been just a recycled cosmetic as the reward. Um, I can't imagine it's very much development time to keep rivals alive, but I, I don't know. I don't know what goes into game development, but recycling old cosmetics and just flipping the switch again, it doesn't, that doesn't seem that difficult, but I don't know. There's a lot of people that really care about rivals and playing it through, like, and playing a lot. So I think that a lot of people will be Let's missing if, that when it goes away. I'll say less if you're in a, like, top crews, like Wrecking Crew, or you got Wrecking Crew, you got Dawn of Eagles, you got Blood of Temple, Plus, don't tell pilots as me in terms group, but we're, but we, uh, I can't even talk right now. <laughs> but the difference is, like, we don't really keep going. We just go for week five and then call it quits, like just the first push and then call it. Cause I don't know how the other crew's been going at it. Cause, cause there's this one time, this one season though, I played like 800 songs back to back. Cause I was like, the starting Thursday, cause it's like Thursday, Friday, so it's like six days a week, six days before in the rival. So. Thursday, I stayed overnight at like 11 or 10 in the morning. And then Friday, I did the same. So Saturday, I went to sleep. And then Sunday, kind of played over through till Tuesday. And let me tell you something. I was tired as I don't know what. My back was tired. Halfway sleep. I was like, and then at the end, I played like 829. I am not doing that again. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. And. And you are a bit of an outlier. I'm sure it's not a lot of people doing 800, but I've been in top five crews before where we'd have 300, 400 songs being played by people, multiple people every week. So there definitely is a base of these high book competitive grindy kind of players. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of hope Rival still goes on just because it's not offending me that it exists, certainly. Um, yeah, um, because Rivals is low-key fun. I mean, I know a lot of people hate Rivals, but to me, I mean, I think that's one of the main reasons that I'll keep... I mean, the only time, like, if I'll play Rock Band, if it's, like, Rivals or full band FCs, like, Fubs and stuff, and and some friends like y'all, like, like y'all three, like, one and a half session, then that's fine. But, I, like, the most of the time, I play Rivals most than Fubs. To be realistically, because it's more interesting stuff. And, um, yeah, that's... Only the time I get on rock band, I still have it though, and I still got my guitar and my kits and everything. Yeah. So yeah, I mean RB4 is fun though, to be honest. Yeah, I like it a lot. I kind of always will. Um. Yeah, I yeah. I think something I'd like to talk about because I think Rock Band Four kind of felt lushed out because I think they intended on waking themselves up whenever they saw there was hype for Guitar Hero Live. And so there's been speculations and some rumors with some substance that there could be remakes of the older Guitar Heroes coming out. 
And if those kind of things turn out to be true, could you imagine a world in which we get either some kind of Rock Band reboot or a remake of anything? Could you guys see any of those things coming to fruition? Um, I would like to. I don't see Epic letting that be a thing. Because who knows how they think it'll affect their pockets. I'm not trying to bash them on here, but damn it, they've done it to themselves. Yeah, I mean, that freaking game's making them a billion dollars a year. No joke. Like, I wish they would just be like, we can have this little baby that'll cost us more money than it's worth in terms of Rock Band and just let it be. Absolutely. Because it's like, how much money could it really cost to let Rock Not Band as much live? as it will get. I think it will. Well, <laughs> I guess people probably won't have to read my DLC, but I don't think it should be a problem. And, and we'll all seriously battle with spouses for keeping up with this game this long. Like, <laughs> this game has had weed avoid resets. It just didn't work when it came out. Like, Black Man 4 has been around I... since 2015. It's about nine years old at this point. Um, and it's been, there's been some tough years in there, but it's like, it's a great game. You know, it's got its issues, but it's a pretty game. It's fun. When did, like, because I know RB5 is, like, the original from the release 2015. So Rivals came out, like, in 2017, or is it still, like, 15? I think 18. Like when the Rivals came in. I think Rivals was 18, but I'm not sure. Um, okay, gotcha. Well, I don't know either. I think it's, well, I mean, I thought it was, like, 2017. I'm not sure. That's when I joined, that's when I first started playing RB4 in 2018 of November. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it very well could have been. I mean, a long time ago, for sure. Um, but there was definitely a period when the on, the party game that you'd play with your friends didn't have an online mode or a practice mode. You know what I mean? It's like they didn't think that we would want an online mode. Are you kidding me? It's like a social video game for the most part. I, I don't know, man. Only Rockman 4 just seems like it was lushed out to compete with Guitar Hero Live. I have no... Proof to say that, that's just my speculations. I mean, um, it, it is the only rhythm game to ever be released without a practice mode. Oh, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. But I want to, you know, Tom said something forever ago, and I want to go back to that because I want to hear him speak more. Um, <laughs> in your introduction, you talked about that you played Guitar Hero Live. Did you, like, play it a lot? I played a, like, when it first came out around with Rock Band 4 in like 2015, I think it was, I mostly played Guitar Hero Live. I, and I enjoyed it. It was cool learning the, the six frets. It's just some of those guitars were really poorly made and would double strum or not strum at all. And that was very frustrating, but... The calibration was also a pain in the butt, and even in Rock Band 4, it still is, but it was much more difficult in Guitar Hero Live because unlike the previous guitar, the guitar, the previous Guitar Hero game in the series where it's like, it literally shows you, like, you can test your calibration and actually play notes. I don't know why these newer games did not, like, add that. Like, in even Clone Hero, which... They have it so you can show your hit window on your screen, make it super easy to calibrate so you can see exactly where you want your hit window to be. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like that about it too. Um, Because playing Lockman 4, uh, if anyone's seen my drumming videos, my calibration is super late. There'll be notes not even on my screen anymore that I'll hit. That's just the way that I have my preference to play the game. And yeah, having that timing window show so I could like show people that I'm not cheating and that I just don't have an OE window. I'm just purely a late window kind of player. I have the same. Yeah, just have the yeah. just have that available like in game and of course like it's not gonna count on the leaderboards or FCs aren't gonna count or whatever. Well, but no, then I you mean, can just uh... turn it off and then Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't even think it's really that much of cheating because 
I think all of us have probably squeezed because we've all drummed before and you do it in guitar to an extent. I think we've all hit notes intentionally late or early to do some things with overdrive. And it's like, we don't really need to see it ourselves because I think we all know our own calibrations pretty well when they'll collect for us. Mm. But, but yeah, it'd be nice if everyone else could see our calibrations as well. <laughs> Um, I don't know how calibration works for you guys. I have to re I have to calibrate like five times a night when I play Rock Band. I've never had consistent calibration on any game. It's the same on Clone Hero. I, I can't even play Rock Band 3 because I have unusable cal no matter what numbers I have on you. I don't know Speaking why I'm three. Oh, sorry. Go Speaking ahead. of that, I've heard there's a lot of calibration issues in Fortnite Festival. Shocking. Oh, yeah. really? I mean, harmonics didn't make the calibration on it, so that doesn't surprise me one bit. <laughs> Just saying. Man, I, I mean, I don't think I never had problems with the calibration, though. Well, I had some, like, in the past. Like, back in the day, I had to change it, like, maybe every once a month. But now, I mean, it's not really that bad anymore. That's what a lot of people say. My internet just must be completely terrible compared to everybody's. I don't live near a big city or anything like that, so that might be what it is. I don't know. I like, there, there was a thing with calibration I get extremely rarely if I'm playing local or online co-op with anyone. Like, I played Scream Aim Fire on drums uh, yesterday, and I got 94 on it, which uh, anyone who knows me would know that's a, that's a really funny low score for a song that's like not actually that difficult. And then I just quit out all the way back to the main menu. We starts didn't fix it, but I just quit back to the main menu. We went back into it and then kept playing and everything was fine. So it's like, I don't even know how to explain bugs like that. Like, why does that even happen? Like, that's I'll tell you, I can definitely do better on Screaming Fire than that. I don't know why it happens. Yeah. I don't, I don't Especially the skips and stuff. stuff. So my calibration... Uh, a lot of people on, especially online, they uh, they restart several times to oh, yeah. quote unquote fix lag and calibration issues. My calibration works to where the more restarts happen on a song, the worse it gets every time. Yeah, if so, someone, sorry, go on. Oh, I was just gonna say so. I I guess I'm just completely cursed when it comes to calibration. I don't understand it. I don't Nobody even know. If... Hate to interrupt, but I don't even know if that's true. Like. I don't even know. I don't either. I, so I hear people say, oh, I think it helps all the time. I'm like, it, it fucks me. I don't know. Sorry. Oh, it okay. bones me. So I don't know if it helps anybody. To be honest, I've never seen it for sure help. I've never seen it hurt, except for me. But I've never seen it help. So. I mean, the game just... The, the game has had a couple weird quirks that... Everyone says, oh, there must be more things like that, like the boat venue, for example. Um, the background of that venue loads at a different frame rate than, the tr than every other venue, and that can cause issues online. But that's led people that. to say that the, the background venue that has like the big bonfire can do it, and the one with the scaffolding, people also say does it. Just because people say boat does it, now all these other venues are broken too. I'm not... See, I'm... I've heard never heard a good thing about the boat, but I've never had a bad experience playing on it either. So, yeah, I've I I like it because I don't really fully believe it has that much issue with the chart. Yeah. But if I ever miss in its boat venue, you best believe. If I dropped my stick, it's boat venue. If I choked <laughs> on water while singing, <laughs> boat venue. Like, if the boat's the venue and I miss a note, it could not have been my fault. Like, I would have seen Pulse in the Magus on guitar fault. the other day if it wasn't Bo Venue, man. Like... Me too, bud. Yeah. I mean, I already have, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. <they're... laughs> One thing I wish they would have fixed is um, it's that vocal, it's the vocals on online, like the 99 glitch. Like, when you FC yeah. vo on vocals, it'd be like 99 glitch. I hate that when that happens. Like, I wish they could fix that, <laughs> but I guess, sadly, that's not going not gonna to happen anytime soon, so. No. I some have people have failed. Some people have that problem like at, like almost every time they play online, and it's like that's why they just refuse to play vocals online is because of that problem. 
Well, an interesting thing with vocals online, if you guys want to kind of get into that a little bit, um, the vibratoing that you can do to cheese and get more credit on phrases doesn't function exactly the same uh, to the host that it does for you. So you might fill up a phrase on your end using vibrato and it won't on the host end. And so you might like stop singing because you already filled the pie, but on their end, it's like a week because the vibrato wasn't like working like it does locally. And so, yeah, if you're singing online and you're having that happen a lot, just don't vibrato as much. Or if you do vibrato, vibrato way too much. Like overfill the pie. Don't stop right when it fills because you're going to get a 99 and you're going to be sad. Um, yeah. Also, I, I I don't know. There's just lots of other quirks. Like, me and Chris have been friends since April of 22 on Xbox. And we don't appeal on each other's leaderboards as friends. And we never will, no. And we, we never will. Yeah, I added someone in March of 22 and she appears on my leaderboards. So at some point between March and April in 2022 i guess it must have broken and just never had been fixed which is a shame mm. but now i get to actually be forced on my friends with sometimes because chris isn't on it so that's kind of cool um <laughs> hey. yeah i don't know what that's like so being anyway. first on your friends list <laughs> i gotta complain yeah. about vocal army is why we're talking about bugs there's a bug where you can lose credit halfway through a phrase like it'll actually take uh it'll take your credit from you even on local you'll see the pie unfill um on harmonies and i don't know if people would be interested in seeing that but i can make a video because i have like a ton of recorded evidence of that happening to me while singing with my friends uh i don't know if the community would be interested in seeing that but i know why it happens uh, it's not just a rock band four thing. It's happened all the way since Harmonies was introduced in the Beatles rock band. It's been in every game. It's a wonderful feature, quote unquote. But yeah, you can you can lose awesomes because of it, and it's not very fun. It just encourages you to have no friends and sing with three mics up to your face. Is it because you're bad? Yeah, actually, yeah, must be. Yeah. <laughs> Does Harmonies That's... even? Cause... You play with two people because I know you play with um Kelly. One of your videos, I think it was you and Baker. We was doing that um a some forty one song, uh, still waiting. Got I watched that video too as well. It was a good FC. The the three of you did. Oh, right on. Yeah, I uh I will never post a harmony video or uh, ever that doesn't have more than one person in it. I don't like seeing harmonies alone. Uh, I know a lot of people do. I won't. I won't say anything about those that do. That's cool. There are people like the Venguid. Uh, all of his scores are alone, and he has some extremely respectable solo harmony scores. I'll say. Um, he tries way too hard. He's really good at squeezing harmonies. I'd love to meet him in person and do some real harmonies with that guy, because, ooh, I'd be waking into false places. But yeah, mm -hmm. I. Uh, I've done false places with Flower Petal, is her game tag, Kelly is her name, JK Soul Seagull. She doesn't really say her name online very often, so I'm going to not say it here. I've done harmonies with her before quite a few it's times. Crazy. It's It's, yeah. <laughs> and I am Hannibal Lecter. And uh, <laughs> I have two in real life friends that don't even play lock bands that I do harmonies with. And together with those guys, I've gotten about 170 full sun video. And then the uh, the other ones were with either Kelly or Kelly and JK Soulseeker. So, yeah, I have nothing but good things to say about those people. I appreciate doing harmonies with them. I'd love to do harmonies with more people. If anyone wants to fly to my state or have me fly to yours, I'll get some false places with you if you have some talent and a spare bedroom. Um, what if we have neither of those things? Uh, then I'll share a bed and teach you harmonies, bud. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, if if I ever fly to your place, let's do futures on harmonies. I will love to do futures by Jimmy E. World. I will be the background singer. I will do that one hundred percent. That's what's up. Dude. After after the podcast, we'll DM each other. There's there might be another Lockman meetup coming up if you have the ability to travel conveniently. Um, if not. 
there's a couple of people near me and if you're near me too, I can probably try to work something out. I think it'd be really cool to meet some more people in the community. It was great. Would it be meeting. in Houston again? Uh, there might be one in Houston coming up again in about 13 months or so. I probably shouldn't say that because I'm not supposed to. I don't think people are supposed to know that yet. Um, okay. Hey, yeah. Hey. Oh, well. I don't know. It doesn't seem like that big a secret. Of course, it would happen again. Everyone knows that that was going to happen again um, at some point. Anyways, we've kind of had a great conversation here. Uh, does anyone have anything that they felt they wanted to say? Anything that you guys want to ask us? Uh, I don't think we talked about anyone's accomplishments yet, really. Oh, yeah. Yeah, accomplishments. Okay. I don't have those. <laughs> okay. garbage. Oh, hush, Chris. <laughs> right. I, I, will sp I will speak on Chris's behalf for accomplishments. He brutal FC to reigning blood with one foot and a broken stick. It's pretty crazy. Okay, that's not true. That's but he insane. Did FC it on brutal, which is also insane. Uh, probably not one footed. I mean, no, did you? I'm garbage. No, <laughs> no. And my stick wasn't broken either. That I remember, but that that's okay. <laughs> I didn't do that. I I take credit for somebody that always plays on my name. I'm not actually good at anything, and you all know my secret now. Yeah, okay, buddy. I remember watching you stream Day of Morning on Brutal saying you weren't going to have see it, and then you did. That Ooh. was that was like your first one of it on Brutal <laughs> or something, and you just have seen it. It, it, you're well, like, oh. it, it, was, it wasn't me. You can't prove it. I mean, it's on YouTube, but you can't prove it. So I also hold nope. your it could voice. Could be your slam brother, then. Nobody, no, nobody knows what I look like, so it wasn't me. You can't prove it. That is true. <laughs> what if I didn't uh -huh. meet you in real life and it was somebody else? That'd be a crazy well, plot twist. Yeah, uh, hey, yeah. It's I, I, definitely not me in that profile picture. I don't know who the fuck that giant <laughs> hairy dude is standing next to Austin, but it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as for me, um, accomplishment wise, I'm very happy with my vocal harmony full spaces. Uh, because I've basically pathed all of them, with the exception of more recent ones. I've used some path vault solo paths for like standard vocals and those seem to work pretty well for harmonies uh it seems a lot better than nice it job, is man yeah thanks man i'll, I'll say about the lack no of a lot of you people in this community uh there's not many of us so it's kind of hard to find people in real life to sing with if harmonies had access to online i would have no firsts because a bunch of the goat vocalists would just sing harmonies online together and they would get some dumb scores and I would have nothing because I'm, I'm good, but I'm not like those people. I'm not. And my friends most certainly are not either because they don't play rock band uh, other than when we're playing harmonies. Friend. I have some okay Please. drum FCs. I don't. I have a one man band pro FC of Pantera. Those charts are disgustingly broken. I have a couple blasty um, songs I've seen. I have a Walking Man, the cover version I've seen. Did um, you single stroke it? No. <laughs> no, I did not single it. I used double. Oh. I cannot single that fast. You I can. See, I believe in you. My King for a Day FC was single stroked, and that's the fastest I can single stroke, and that's not even that fast. Like. So yeah, I, I don't know. I don't. I'm not very single stroke, chop heavy, like uh, Chris is. I, I feel the joke. To be fair, I've been doing it for 30 years, so that's not fair. Well, that's not true. I've been doing it for like 25 years, but still. And Chris, what guitar FC did you just get the other day, bud? What uh, what Night Ranger and, song was that? That was imagined by John Lennon. Oh, come on. <laughs> just that just... was you can still rock in America <laughs> by uh night ranger and that was also not me uh that was somebody else and i took credit for it once okay again. okay all right it okay. was purely luck well maybe but you can still do it i've only done it once so that's still up for debate well i've played know, the song I've, several times i have a lot of one of one fcs you know that's by far probably the hardest guitar fc that i have super close on a lot of stupid stuff but yeah, I, I'll I never saw reach. That. I'll never reach the pinnacle of guitar.
playing on rock band. Apparently, I am the pinnacle of drumming on rock band, which are not my words. It's everybody else's words. I don't believe it. I think I'm garbage. Everybody else keeps telling me differently, though, so whatever. There's a lot of people that are really good at this game that none of us have ever heard of, and that, I think that's kind of beautiful. Um, but yeah, some of us are just even more nuts, which is crazy. What about you, uh, what about you, Tom? Tell me about some of your proud accomplishments in this game. Well, just like Chris over here, I am terrible. <laughs> I, I hate all of you. <laughs> no FCs. That are legit. I can corroborate this. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. But... I'm not. <laughs> um... Proudest FC is probably three lives by Octavision on guitar. Oh, I hate you. Oh. I love you. That's pretty um, good. Proudest Full Artist FC was Judas Priest. Bruh. Several hard songs, Rapid Fire. Um, three. Oh God, that's a great one. Also of Valhalla. Three. Could stop being a hater. I am Couple. very much hating right now. <laughs> Couple of others. Painkiller. We get it, but here go. You had me with three lives. That's the only reason I'll never have a one man band FC. Uh I'm missing drums and now I'll never get that. <laughs> Untrue. I believe in you. You're a god. I, mean, I remember we tried to fub that and you couldn't do that chart because it's so messed up on pro. Yeah, that chart is messy. Yeah, we what can about... do it now. What about you, Cam? What are you, uh, what are you kicking ass on? Okay, so my accomplishments is like, okay, I got the FC pre mixed. The I, I one man band FC that that's a good from Guitar Hero. So they should have added like um the one um nothing for me here, and the other one man band FC that I did was Master of More or something something about More the four hundred stab artist. Yeah. Yeah, I want man band FC that FC the perfect insanity on drums. What why I was on stock at the time though. I didn't use Rollins. I used stock kit, so I was <laughs> proud of that. You excuse me? <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that what? stock kit on perfect insanity. I I did. I, I literally did. No kidding. <laughs> okay. What's it on RB two stock? <laughs> How does I don't even know what to say? And about. um let me see. Let me know. Thing. Oh yeah, I uh, FC'd Dead Black because I was grinding for that for the push week for week five, and we got first place. Me and Term, the crew and uh, us on Tip Pods, we can't. We got in first, but not overall though. But just for that one week, that week five, but not like overall. So I'm proud of that for the first place we had. So I was happy. Wasn't that There's the week thing. where Paul Bear was? Yeah, the well? Paul Bear and. Uh, what was that other song? It was Paul Bear, Dead Black, and... Imagine. <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> saying Imagine. What was that third song? I'm trying to remember. Was it another horror song? I don't Freak. remember. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. Anyways, um, FC Twilight the Thunder God on bass, on um, Brutal as well. FC the Guitar, su Superspicious. Also, Foot Artist FC, Steven Wonder on guitar as well, and bass. Oh, I'm sorry. We did this fucking guy. Jesus. I Full Artist FC, Iron Maiden, job. Green Day. Um, I think Ozzy Osbourne, I believe. I think I recently did that as well. He's on guitar or? And I, uh, bass. Oh, bass, okay. I did on bass. I wish it was on guitar, but guitar is yes. talented, awesome. but yeah. Hello. Mm, Thrasher. I did, um... <laughs> Yeah, Thrasher. I FC Thrasher <laughs> on bass. Mm, that's <laughs> and on drums as thinking. well. FC bass, drums, but it's just guitar. I need the FC harder. for the woman than FC. It's oh, the my. dumbest bass song that's not Visions, in my opinion. That's just ridiculous. And I also the FC. Oh, another woman than FC. The Great Southern Kill by Pantera. I woman than FC that as well. Because guitar. Because I FC the guitar. That's my last one. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was my woman fantasy. I did that as well. Oof. Other challenge song that was annoying. But, um, no yeah. So, I guess uh, this leads to another question, I think, with Cam 
saying Twilight is under God and Glacial, you must be pretty good strumming. Let's talk about quickly what our worst techniques are. What holds us back the most? I would say probably my stamina for drumming is way worse than my technical abilities. I have no stamina. Like compared to like the my... kind of stuff I can do. Oh, okay. I think my weakness is like playing guitar. It's like the fast hopos. I can't do that unless if I'm. T I gotta learn how to do the t um tapping because my biggest strength is the strumming. I like the strum. Strum is like my biggest like strength. But the weakness I have is like the fast hobos like dragon if it's like dragon force or like any other adventure of foot songs like afterlife like the fast hobos like i can't that's i'm terrible at that i mean it's just but sometimes i can hit them sometimes but not all the time mm -hmm. it just depends on luck yeah for sure what about you tone yeah. do you have a big weakness everything <laughs> okay. <laughs> Even I was going to be honest here, but come on. <laughs> Would you say oh, you're pretty I mean, well balanced as a player? You can kind of do everything decently well? Uh, Probably the strumming and stamina for being serious. Okay. Yeah, it's fair. I definitely know other guitar players like uh, Tyro Motionless. Definitely has fledging down pretty well, but... Just hearing about him FCing Battle Royale, but then missing the outro strumming more than once. It's like, how do you hit the solo but miss? I know the outro is annoying, for sure, but it's like, if I could hit he that did... solo, I could definitely hit the outro. He so did that the guy... same thing on the outro. Sometimes like the outro would be like the slowest speed. It's like a it speeds up and then it kind of slow down, but you gotta like time it though because if you Keep on strumming it like up and down. Well, not too fast, but if you keep strumming. You, it's well, actually, it's easy to overstrum if you're not really paying attention because you can easily work the full combo if you're not really paying attention to it. Like with the slowdown, and then it'll speed back up a little bit. I mean, for sure, I would miss it absolutely, but I wouldn't even come close to hitting the solo. It just feels like the solo is the crazy part of the song to me, and that guy can just hit that. It's like, what? That guy. If that guy yeah, had strumming down, he would either. be ridiculous. <laughs> Even more so. He, he FC Angel of Death and wound and then was drawing. Oh. Yeah. But he FC that? He FC the solo, yeah. Oh, well, he, he has a possibility to FC that then, if he can do that. Man. Okay, Chris, what about you? Notable weaknesses in your player? What? Wait, now your voice is cutting uh, in. Oh, oh, uh, are we? Oh, oh no. Hold. You hear? Is he good or? Yeah, I think we can hear you now. Yeah, I think we can hear you too. Oh, okay, okay. I'm just making sure. Yeah, it is. Cool. yeah, we can hear you good now. No, on what what is the question I have for you? Um, uh, drums and guitar. Uh, well, I don't myself. The only weakness I can think of on drums is some really really hard stuff. Uh, and when I say some, I mean specifically uh, Frankenstein, Young Man Blues, and Magic Bus. For whatever reason, I've been drumming my entire life. I like to think that I'm very good at it. I don't like saying it because I don't want to come across like that guy. But I seem to have extreme difficulty breaking down and being consistent at very difficult patterns. Like people like Lukey 2 Jedi or Big Body Chris or others on like Young Man Blues. They can hit it consistently with no problems you give me the second fill in that song i still can't even hit maybe 80 percent of it constantly and playing it over and over again i can't think of any true weakness on drums other than that. like my st i have what appears to be unending stamina on the drums and i'm not real sure why i am better at hard stuff than i am at easy stuff on the drums on guitar, however, 
this is a much different story. I am not the typical guitar person, as I mean when saying um, half the people I know that I'm friends with that play guitar say that they're good at fretting and are bad at strumming. The other half say that they're great at strumming and they're bad at fretting. I'm I'm very good at strumming because I'm my nickname in high school was the human metronome. I'm good at keeping time so I can strum really well. I'm very good at fretting, but my big weakness is fretting excessively fast. Things like Dragon Force, uh the Battle Royale solo. I can't I can move my hands that fast, but I'm not going to hit the correct things. I can't do really fast stuff. But I can't think of a giant weakness other than that, other than the fact that, like term, I'm complete garbage. Oh my. And and for anyone listening, actually, these guys just are being humble in a weird way. Uh, just know that if you watch other people play this game most of the people that appear on youtube when you type in their videos it's going to be people like lukey two jedi who can fc everything in the game or like you know if it's an older video you might see like homo or something you know you're going to be able to see guys that are like incredible play this game because they're just going to appear first we and other really great players like will also have YouTube appearances if we make videos. But even us who are maybe not as good as those guys, or Blyce, you know, better guitarists than all of us, but we're still great, all of us are. And there's a lot of people that are also pretty good. You're not going to see them now. Like, don't compare yourselves to people at the very top. Uh, if you ever want to feel good about yourself for playing x and, like, hitting 78% of notes or something... You know, it's like you're not hitting as much as we would. Um, but just scroll down on the leaderboards and say scrolling up. Like, I promise most of the people listening to this are probably deeper in the Lockman sauce than 90% of the people that play the game. So don't feel discouraged. You guys are good at this game too, I'm sure. Uh, just scroll down on the leaderboard and set it up sometimes and you'll realize, hey, you know, Maybe this rhythm game that's pretty hard if you haven't been playing it for 15 years is actually pretty hard, and you should feel good. You should just keep playing and enjoying the game in whatever way you can. But yeah, I, I'm glad that I got to sit down and have a conversation with a bunch of people that are substantially better on guitar than me, um, and one who's better on drums than me, and uh, maybe two better on the drums than me. I don't know how you hit on my mind, Cam. I I have had yeah, dreams of hitting yeah, it's that really song. insane though yeah that's it's, pretty it's really insane <laughs> Probably it's like a practice game. i mean crazy. okay um like the trust it took me like on my first run i hit it until i missed like around the end of course two because i kind of missing that um that fast red on um, tom roll i got it on my third try i believe so i was relieved Cause I was like, you know what? Let me actually go for this FC. Cause this one is a little bit challenging. Cause since Rivals is like, cause since I'm on break on Rivals, so I just kind of want to go for something else. Because I was bored at the time. I was like, you know what? Let me just go for this one real quick. And then I just hit it just like that. Yeah, man, it's crazy. But yeah, I'm I'm glad all of you guys uh, took the time to make this conversation with me happen. I hope. Everyone who listened enjoyed it. Uh, do you guys have any closing thoughts? I'll start with Cam. I'll say this right here. As always, um, believe in yourself and just be yourself. You know, just you know, just be yourself and um, don't let others control you. Don't let others tell you you can or you can't do. And um, just enjoy your life. Do whatever. Do whatever what makes you happy, basically. I think, yeah, yeah. All right, how about you, Tom? Um, you just gotta believe. And if you put your mind to it, you can achieve anything. Kind of like what Cam said. Yeah. That's a good that's a good way to live. Chris? Honestly, yeah. Oh, sorry. 
Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I, I was just saying yeah, just because, but go ahead. Oh, okay. And Chris, any fighting thoughts? Well, being the third person that got asked this question, I'm just going to go ahead and say what well, both of those guys said, because I'm not going to, you know, be that guy. <laughs> but I want to go back to what you said about don't don't ever compare yourself to other people. Everybody tells me that I am a top two drummer on Rock Band, at least out of active players. I still compare myself to people that I can't do stuff to. Just don't don't do it because it will ruin your mindset. You are the only person who matters. Your accomplishments are yours. You will get done what you get done, and what everybody else has done or does does not matter. Ever compare yourself to other people. You are you. Your accomplishments are all that matter, and you will get there. Believe in yourself, and that's all that matters. You can do it. Yeah, right on. I'll I'll pay you back off that in my closing as well. That yeah, uh in my statement earlier I did say don't don't compare yourselves to you know, just the upper echelon. Just try to look at yourself and be proud of what you do because if you found it difficult to get to the point you are now, you should be proud of that. You should be proud of your continued dedication to whatever skill you're working on uh whether that be lock band or something else um just keep working on it don't compare yourself there will always be someone better and there will always be someone worse maybe you'll be the best but you probably shouldn't take the time to figure out if you are because you're asking the wrong questions you should do it because you want to not because you want to be the best as long as you enjoy it uh you'll be the real winner honestly the people who are the best and they hate it I promise you they're not getting more out of it than you are. So just for yourself, enjoy what you do and just keep doing it. If you enjoy it, you'll get there. And also I'm garbage. <laughs> yeah. And also Chris is garbage. Thank uh, you. Uh, thank you all for joining me. Uh, <laughs> and thank you everyone for listening. Nah, he ain't garbage. Well. He ain't garbage. <laughs>